My name is Daniel Buscom and I'm a research geologist at the Grand Canyon Monitoring Research Centre. Um, so what we're trying to do is map riverbed sediments on an unprecedented scale and at an unprecedented resolution. So what's so it, it's we've had the technology to measure sediments using point sampling techniques. We've had that for decades, if not you know more than a hundred years, where you could just physically take a sample of of the bed wherever it is, take it back to the laboratory, and analyze it using a you know variety of different methods. Um, What's changing now is that we're used, starting to use remote sensing methods um, in order to, you know, literally map large swaths of the bed using acoustic instrumentation. We're using more and more sophisticated underwater video technology to map the bed, and we're using um, sort of hybrids between the two things that are called acoustic cameras, which are literally taking. Um, you know, pho almost photographic like images of of submerged sediments but using sound rather than light another, and another thing that I'm quite excited about is that it, we're not just doing that just for the purposes of monitoring the sediment we're also starting to to work with our biological colleagues so we're trying to build in you know tech we're trying to develop techniques that are um, that can be used without very specialist knowledge um, about the instrumentation um, so going out and using cheap sonars and you know easy processing methods um, in order to basically develop techniques that anybody can use you don't have to be a specialist to use them and the idea there is that um, you know, we can build those techniques and get them off the ground and implement them in a monitoring protocol then they can be really useful for answering the biological questions that we have on the river like how, how uh, fish are using the, the sediments, the substrates to spawn and rear. I was lucky enough to get a postdoc out at University of California Santa Cruz when I was doing work uh, looking at coastal sediment transport which was similar to the stuff that I'd done for my PhD and then in 2009 um, I was lucky enough to go on a river trip down the Colorado River and it sort of got me hooked on the Colorado River in Grand Canyon uh, it was such an amazing experience that I sort of, I always had that in the back of my mind. I went back to Plymouth, did another postdoc out there, um, doing sort of different stuff again. Uh, and then when the job came up here to work as a sedimentologist in Grand Canyon, I sort of jumped at it and here I am. And I've been here for a couple of, two, just over two and a half years now. I've enjoyed every minute of it.